and welcome back guys we're going to be playing some more fallout 4 and we're going to be trying to start the fall horror dlc now i figure we'll play this while we wait for the next expanse to come out and then starfield comes out on september 6th so i figured hey let's go play some fallout 4 while we wait right anyways make sure it's the like button make sure to subscribe button let's get into it Says not to talk to strangers. Look, that arm is great, don't get me wrong. But how the hell I'm glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Tell me more. Our client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth, Kenji Nakano. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details, said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast, a small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you.
Another notch for the gun. Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Can't you please? What? Who are you? I'm sorry, but we don't have time for visitors or caravans or wherever you're from. I'm with Valentine's Detective Agency. You asked for help? Oh, thank God. You have to get working right away. So... What's the story with you and Nick? That is not important right now. You have to help me find my daughter. I'm here to help. Tell me what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I... I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No. She would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Do you have any idea where she could have gone? We know she took one of the boats, but that's all. She could be anywhere. I'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Turns to look at me. God, 
Project log, lamp. Yep, it's a lamp. Filament plus power equals light. I swear, sometimes I think my parents break these things just to keep me busy. Project log, kitchen mixer. The circuits are still good, but all the mechanical parts are rusted through. <sighs> Maybe I can... All right, everyone. Mrs. I'll Nicole. be back in... Wait, I you're going you now? Have questions no! About my daughter. Wait, Dad, I can I come have with you. List. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. I don't know what happened. I'd shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, really? focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... Okay. No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. I know you're disappointed. But I won't Every call. detail is important, Mrs. Right. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Nothing else right now. Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but. God. Sorry, sir. The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synth, synthetic people, made by the Institute. They're trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me, and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go to meet these synths. I... I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there.
project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... Project log, project log, project log, project log, radio. Project... Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synth. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. They are trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me, and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go to meet these synths. I... I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. Project log, dreams. Recording what I can remember when I wake up. I keep the having the same one. Did you find any? I'm in a white room. People are talking about me like I'm not there, or maybe they just don't care. And then there's this, I don't know, jolt, like a spark of electricity to the back of my head, and then everyone turns to look at me. Project log? I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. There's no time to waste. You have to go after her. Wait, did you find out why she left Detective? Who she was speaking to? What does it matter? Because I know my daughter, and if she didn't tell us where she went, then she had a reason. Don't you want to know if she wants to be found? You're right, Detective. Did you find any clue to why Kasumi left home? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Maybe your daughter is just confused, having an identity crisis. Oh God, does she even think we're still her parents? This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. You have to get to Far Harbor. Take my ship on the dock. It has a guidance system, a final gift from my father, and it's built for distance. What can I expect out there, Kenji? I only made the trip to Far Harbor once, when I was a boy. All I remember is that my father did not want to stay long. Something about the air being bad. I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. I know you haven't asked for a payment, and we can't offer much. But here, please take it. I insist. For expenses, if nothing else.
Far Harbor. We, uh, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Namelander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. But Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. Damn it. Mariner's incoming. You, help us defend the town, and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! Command the hall! Something's out there! This ain't a drill! Now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. For your help when we needed it, you deserve this. Lost the whole island? Oh, the fog's been here forever. There are good years when it recedes and the island's almost normal. But then there are times when it spreads all over. People have to cling to any patch of land free of the fog. For the past, oh, eight years or so, it's been getting as bad as it's ever been. Now, Far Harbor's one of the only places left that's safe. What's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But there are pockets of it, the deep fog, that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Things live in the fog, thrive. You think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's far worse further inland. Everywhere I go, nobody's got it easy. <laughs> no argument here. I think... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the rat eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, 
and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden the stranger with all this nonsense. Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. Fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know as well as I do, that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. Worship the power of Adam. Which is uh, radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee... Now that's enough! That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge, Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But, uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. What's Old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's the only one that'll do it. But, uh, people around here are known for being stubborn, willful, and other less flattering things. But Longfellow's got a reputation even among us. Thanks for the info. Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Alan? Huh. The mainlander. Great. Fire your gun a few times and you think you're some sort of hero? This is our fight. Our island. Not yours. I am the one who saved all your asses. So yeah. We've defended this damn dock from crabs and worse for months without you. Yeah, you helped. But we've paid our dues in blood and bullets. The day we rely on outsiders for our security is the day we're as good as dead. I still put myself in harm's way for you. Some gratitude would be nice. We've had some real pieces of work come through here. You've been... Uh, all right so far. Here, for your uh, help. So if you're here to buy some ordnance, do your business. Otherwise, take the first boat out of here. Before the children of Adam are worse, get you. Show me what you got. You got it. Bait shop. If you need any odds and ends, I'm your man. Let's trade. Here's what I got.
vulture circling over Andre's body? He ain't dead. No. <laughs> it's a mainland. Well, welcome to my little clinic. If you need doctoring, speak up. I, I wish I had time for some proper conversation, but my work's never done. Let's see your stock. What? Oh, yeah. Trade. Just about to explain. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations. Even back before the war, it was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. saying that I'm the mysterious stranger who's going to help you avenge your family? Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when he wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn, shame that. Where'd you say these ghouls were? National Park Campground. It's pretty much straight west of here. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to be. Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia. And there was a scuffle. Trying to have a conversation. You get your hands dirty. I'm done leaving people to their deaths on the farm. Last fell, I couldn't keep up. For the last five minutes. Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia, and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Yours worth dying over, huh? Runaway's name is Kasumi. You know about her? Sounds like Cap Mavery's been running her mouth again. She should know better than to stick her nose where it's not wanted. Maybe I heard of her. Maybe not. Everyone's got their price. How many caps is this gonna run me? Keep your caps. If you're set on doing this, I'll take my pay in whiskey. 
The bartender, Mitch, sells it. Grab me a flask and then we'll see about getting you to Acadia alive. If you need a room, see Mitch. Excuse me. Mainlander, today's your lucky day. Free beer for ya. Ha ha! You have anything a bit stronger? Pushing your luck, are ya? Ha! I like it. Take this. Top shelf all around. So, drink up! You stay here over long and the fog will claim you. Might as well meet her with a belly full of fire, eh? Let's see what you have on tap. Plenty of selection. like the service, there's the door. Hey there. You got my whiskey yet? Here you go. Ah, now you're talking. I can get you, Acadia. But you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, rad X and the like. And then the real work can begin. Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me, then. Let's head out of town. Acadia is above the fog. It's a bit of a night. You might want to take this rope. Case of long But it'll help. We need to move through old mountain trail for the river. The fog ain't got nothing to see the mountain. Mainlanders think it goes in right away. It's all you need. I'd have to take care of a lot of them. Might just make a proper far harbor. <laughs> See the fog in the number. Get you all turned around. There's something in my brain. Trappers were mean to begin with.
got a ways to go. Something else. Got you. Times the size of a man. Good thing we don't see too many of them. Damnation, old man. Well, what have we here? Another rad worshiping lunatic. That's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those two? Oh, whoa. Let's just settle down, okay? You're right. Waste of ammo. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. You do know you're crazy, right? Watch yourself, outsider. You walk through Adam's kingdom now. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move. Yeah, the air's clean. No fog. The area is not too far now. Katie has already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with her, 
just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear. Get some rest. Or get stinking drunk. <laughs> just make sure if you bring in a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. already? Don't you want to see what happens next? You saying you want me to stick around and watch your back? Maybe later, Longfellow. All right. But I'm serious about the offer. You ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together? I could think of worse things to do. <laughs> Damn. Fog's got in my lungs. We can keep traveling as much as you want. I don't require sleep or food in order to survive. a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? She's human, and she has a family waiting for her. But imagine what it means if you're wrong. If Kasumi is a synth, then she doesn't have a family. She never had one. Think about how she must feel. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? How would I even know? I'm afraid if you're looking for some biological test we can do, there isn't any. None that aren't fatal. Instead, you have to look for the signs. Holes in someone's memory. Feelings of unexplained isolation. Odd dreams. But ultimately, you have to decide for yourself. What do you believe? Have you ever questioned your humanity? I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory you have? I remember being in my house the day the bombs fell. We... we ran to the vault. We were frozen. I was the only survivor. No memories before then? Just a single day, and then waking up alone? 
We so easily accept what's presented to us as the truth, don't we? Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that we will accept you, no matter what you decide you are. I've heard enough. Where is Kasumi Nakano? Of course. Kasumi is usually working down below. You can see her whenever you like. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Did you need anything else before you go? I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. I suggest we take as much as we can get. This week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. And I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. So you're a synth? I am. I hope that's not a problem for you. Dima has worked hard to create a place for us where we can be safe from those who don't accept us. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. So many things to keep track of. You do all this work yourself? Mostly, yes. I get help from the others when I can, but no one else really understands Dima the way I do. Can you tell me about the fog condensers? Oh, those? Dima and I designed them when it became clear the fog was only getting worse. And they're effective, but have such a limited range. Dima insisted we provide them to the people of Far Harbor, and I'm so glad we did. Without the condensers, I'm not sure they'd have anywhere left. Looks like he's had a lot of work done. Well, that's certainly an understatement. Between the two of us, we've made so many modifications. He was just a prototype, never built for all this. It took a lot to overcome the limitations of the original design and expand his memory. It really is remarkable, isn't it? He's overcome so much. He's become so much more than he once was. If there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. There's a boat along the coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here, for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here. So, does this sound like something you could handle? What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Trappers, fog crawlers, there's no end to what's out there. And what might still be out there. But the point is that we already lost someone once. And I don't want to see that happen again. So, are you up for it? Sure thing, Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. Thank you. I really do appreciate it.
You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible. But thankfully, she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. So, you're saying you could have done a better job of it? And no, it was a competition. Yes, absolutely. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? How do you manage to track down synths and bring them here? That's not a subject we need to discuss. I manage. That's all that matters. You have Dima's blessing. So by all means, make yourself comfortable. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. All right, I'm listening. We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. I'll find out what I can. You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us, a synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you. Acadia may not look like much from the outside. It's all some of the sky. It certainly wasn't what I was expecting, but... means there's hope. some pre-war junk into something usable. Now, do you mind telling me what you're doing here? Your parents sent me. They want you to come home. They... they did what? You came all this way... for me. Look, my mom and dad... Uh, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. I'm not their daughter. I'm a synth. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? <sighs> Listen, do you have any proof that you're actually a synth? Little things. Dreams of waking up in a lab. Years I can't remember from when I was a kid. <laughs> Not to mention how I never quite fit in back at home. I know, it must be hard for you. I just want to make sure you're here for the right reasons. Yeah, so I am. I mean, yes, I believe I'm a synth, but there's something wrong here with Acadia. There's more going on than just the refuge. I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've done enough running. What kind of problem is there in Acadia? It's a long story. I just have to figure out how to... Wait. Wait, you find things. Track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. What are you talking about? Where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories, or offload data from his brain. 
or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them, and, you know, I, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there, and that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. I'll help if I can, but that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. This'll be easier if I just talk to Dima. Convince him that he needs to be honest with us. All right, good luck. Let me know what you find out. is far away enough from the Institute that we don't have to worry, right?
That's it. The reward will be worth all that effort. accomplish this without bloodshed. Far Harbor and the Children of Adam have a right to exist on this island, the same as us. They're going to kill each other, Dima. There's no stopping it. We need to pick a side now. Haven't we already picked a side? Building the fog condensers around Far Harbor wasn't exactly a neutral act. We couldn't stand by and let the people of this island die to the fog. Just like you couldn't just leave the Cult of Adam without a home? Giving them the submarine base was a mistake. The Nucleus, as they're calling it, is basically one big fortified position. Far Harbor had cast them out. They have strange beliefs, but they have always accepted us for what we are. And Confessor Martin was a friend. Well, the new Confessor isn't. High Confessor Tectus is an unstable megalomaniac, and he's gonna keep threatening us as long as we're helping Far Harbor. Guys, can we talk about the elephant in the room? We keep dancing around it. My old memory banks in the submarine base. I can't believe you never told me about those. I have to wait until they become a security risk. I know how it looks in hindsight, but at the time, it was an act of trust. I was honestly more worried they'd accidentally trip the pre-war security and get hurt, giving the children my old home, allowing them to safeguard my old memories. I thought our people would be working together. <sighs> Just how secure are the banks? How long do we have? And what's in them? I've gone over this before, Chase. I don't know what's in them. That's how it works. It's as close to forgetting something as I have, but I've run some projections of worst-case scenarios. If we do nothing and the wrong knowledge falls in the wrong hands... So send me over there. I'll be in and out in a day. We can't risk it. They know you're from Acadia. If you're caught, or even seen, then it's war. We should at least prepare her to go in. We're running out of options. I say we tell her how to crack into the memory banks. You've been working on this without me? It came up in a private moment, Chase. But yes, we've been writing a program that will let you access and download my memories. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'm finishing up some tweaks to the program right now. I'll leave a copy of it for you on my desk when I'm done. Get the program, use it to break into the memory banks. Got it. Hopefully you won't have to. We'll keep monitoring the situation. I only want you going in if we have no other choice. You lead the way, and I'll follow, man.
out Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're going to find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the children of Adam will. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll figure out things from there. Good luck. about a missing synth. Yeah. You have to help us. Well, it's not They're something I talk about with outsiders. So you can either buy something or move I'll along. Repeat. There are no police in Far Harbor. I'm working with Chase. She told me that your designation is L-792. Okay, I believe you. Keep it down, all right? It's real private information. I don't know the synth you're talking about. He's a younger guy. Maybe early 20s with white hair. Goes by the name Derek. Thing is. He showed up way earlier than he was supposed to. Thought a courser was on his tail, so he rushed the timetable. To be honest, the guy was a wreck. He was scared shitless, looking over his shoulder every five minutes and attracting unwanted attention. I tried to calm him down, but he panicked and ran off into the fog. That was the last I saw of him. Can you tell me anything else? I'm gonna need more information than that if I'm gonna find the synth. I wish I had more to give you. He disappeared into the fog, and I haven't seen him since. Relax. I'll take care of this. Sorry. My nerves are... Sure. Broke. If you're really going after that synth, I'm pretty sure he took the road south out of town. Uh -huh. Just be careful out there. And thanks. 
I feel like shit about I suggest we take as much as we can carry. in from the fog don't care if it's my I'm not looking for trouble I just need to find someone a young man with white hair you help me I'll leave yeah we found him one of the fox creatures already attacked him he was bleeding out but you know why waste the meat here well what's left take it <laughs> now go That. No wonder you wiped out those crabs.
provide adequate protection. Missing synth was jumped by cannibal trappers. He didn't survive. That poor bastard. That synth came here to live in peace, and we failed him in the worst way possible. It's my fault. I should have gone out there to meet him. Damn it all. I'm glad we were able to bring some closure to the matter. You deserve this. And shall we say 200 caps? Sorry, things didn't turn out better. I wish they had. You and I both. Thanks again for your help. Be safe out there. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.